Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how we set our left hand. So you need to make sure that your violin is placed on your shoulder and your jawbone is in the chin rest. Remember, I don't like that these are called chin rests. I think they should be called jawbone rests, but nobody asked me when they named them. So it's a chin rest. Next, you're going to take your right hand and just help hold your violin. This is just so it doesn't fall because we're used to having our left hand here to help us. Then, with your left hand, you're going to catch an apple. We don't catch an apple like this. Make sure your hand is round. Then we're going to turn. Then what we're going to do is make a banana thumb. So not all the way over, not this, a banana thumb. And we're going to take our banana thumb and place it across from, you should have a tape there. I don't have one on my violin, but you're going to place it um, just a little bit closer to your nose than right across from that tape, okay? And then you'll have tapes there. You're going to put down on the D string. You're going to put down first finger, second finger with a space between it, and third finger. And my fingertips need to have this shape. Remember, we talk about square top fingers, so they're not smooshed like this. They're not too far over. They're exactly on the fingertip. So I've got one, two, three. And then you're going to hold that same twinkle. And then we also go through with the bow playing the notes. So third finger on the D string plays the note G. Ready, play. Pick up third finger, this is F sharp, play. Pick up second finger, this is E, play. Open D. And most importantly, when I pick up all my fingers, I don't bring my hand back, I don't bring it up here. It just stays hovering over the string. That's called puff position. It's very important to be able to do that. I keep my fingers close to the string because when I want to use them again, they're right there. So I hope this explains how to set the left hand. Happy practicing.